beauties welcome back to my beauties big sister channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you are new please subscribe please come and join the family if you're coming back then hi how are you guys all doing i hope you're having a really good week now if you've followed my channel for a while you'll know that hair isn't my strongest point love 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 doing my makeup but when it comes to hair i'm just not that good so the products that i use need to be very easy to use and the results need to be easy to achieve and honestly i have been loving this tong don't worry it's not on this is the mark hill pick a mix tong now i have been using this pretty much for the whole of two months i have not stopped using it and um, this is like the large Barrel, I think that's what it's called. I will link it below. Um, but what's great about this is that you can take the attachments off and put a new barrel on. The best thing about this is that you can actually have this horizontal. So if you are like me and you're not very good at tonging your hair, this makes it so much easier and you do not burn yourself, which is such a dream. Um, so yeah, this is the tong that I have been using and loving. If you are interested in what I've been using on my hair in my latest Instagram pictures, then that is the tong. But for this video, I'm so excited to try this. I have no idea what on earth I'm going to look like. But yeah, I'm going to give the corkscrew tong a go. Does it work? Will I look cool? Or will I look like I've just got a perm and I'm from the 80s? <laughs> this is what we're going to be testing today. So if you want to see what I look like with corkscrew curls and if this is worth buying, then just keep watching. Right, okay, so first things first, let's get this horizontal because that's definitely the easiest way to use the tong. I love that you can use it horizontal, so let's turn that on. Annoyingly, it doesn't let you know once it's heated up, but it really, really doesn't take long at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is section my hair with my Invisi Bubble. I have not got my extensions in for this. I'm doing this on natural hair because I've heard if you corkscrew your hair with extensions in, you're gonna ruin your extensions and not what I wanna do today. So I'm gonna take my Mark Hill heat protection spray, protect my hair, because the last thing I wanna do is singe it. <laughs> now this that comes with the tong, I would 1000% <laughs> recommend that you use this glove because I mean, I would definitely burn my hands if it wasn't for this glove. Let's just go on the three fingers and I'm just gonna section my hair i presume we're going to take this quite small is that too big maybe that's still too big okay let's go for kind of that side by this time the wand would have been heated up obviously it's dinky anyway so let's get it as close to the root as possible without touching my ear i guess we just hold it on it for like a few seconds as i say it does work really well the wand does get quite hot so you don't need to leave it on there <gasps> okay look how look how tight that curl is okay i feel like we're gonna be here for a while and i also need to remember to take it through the ends of my hair because i don't want a straight bit at the end it needs to curl around like that that's it has anyone ever corkscrewed their hair before i love that it's a trend now to be honest i'm i think i'm gonna be on board with it i don't know i did corkscrew my friend Kira's hair if you did see my vlogmas but I loved it on her so yeah really intrigued to see what it's gonna look like on me it's just mad how tight it curls and it really does not take long at all I guess this is probably the only time that my thin hair is gonna come in handy because it's not gonna take as long as someone with super thick hair look how short my hair has gone that is madness I've got a few little stray pieces here guys how is everyone's january going so far i can't believe that january is going so quickly i have been really enjoying my january i did say to myself that i wanted to exercise more i wanted to move more in 2019 and that's something that i've kept to so far which i'm very pleased about and proud of myself um, so yeah, I have been going for runs and doing exercises and things like that. There is a yoga place like down the road for me. So that is something I'm definitely going to put myself into. I feel like I've literally got next to no hair right now. I hope this is going to look good because I do have such fine hair. I'm just worried it's just going to look like I've got like two ringlets please 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 comment below and let me know if you've watched power on netflix like i am obsessed when i say i'm obsessed like i can't believe oh, i keep forgetting 
forgetting to do the ends. I have watched every single season in two months. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I'm fully obsessed, fully hooked. Cannot wait for the new season to come out. I think I have YouTubed and watched every single interview the power cast have ever done. I'm that sad person. Does anyone else do that? You get so obsessed with something that you just like research it and watch everything about it. Like I know every fact you didn't know about power. I know them all. Okay. I think we're maybe like 10 minutes in getting a little bit bored because I don't normally spend this time on my hair. <laughs> we are very nearly there. <gasps> my arms are aching, I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely easier to do on someone else than it is to do on yourself. It's actually quite tricky to do yourself. Like obviously I'm holding my hands up and my arms up this whole time, which is, um, yeah, a little bit tiring to say the least. So I probably would ask one of my friends to do this. So getting a little bit knotty, just getting myself in a muddle. <laughs> I feel like I'm out of grease, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, we're not obviously not leaving my hair like this. I'm gonna take this really wide tooth comb from GHD and try and brush this through. I feel like it's gonna be quite knotty, but oh, actually this is going through it really well. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That is frizz central. I can 100% see why people say do not put your extensions in when you do this because this would not be brushing out the extensions. Like it's getting real natty. You can hear my hair breaking and say, oh my God, look at me. <laughs> I feel like a side parting is gonna look better with this hair. I need so much oil in my hair right now because this is not cute. I'm gonna take the Garnier, the Sleep Perfector oil, and I just need this whole bottle over my head, basically. <laughs> oh my God, I look like I've got an afro. Okay, it's fine, this oil is gonna sort it out. Feeling like I shouldn't have brushed it out that much because, wow, more oil is needed. I don't know if I love it or hate it, to be honest. I feel like I look like I've just stepped out the 80s. <laughs> I've put so much oil in my hair right now. <laughs> okay, what do we think, guys? I, I do quite like it. I just, I'm really unsure. Mm, I don't feel like this looks cool on me. Okay, let's just try and make it look a little bit cooler. I'm feeling like if I maybe done a cute little pony, I don't know, it might look a little bit better. I'm doing this super tight on top of my head. Maybe let's put that like halfway through. Yeah, that looks a bit cooler. Just pulling out random sections here. I, I don't even know if this looks good. It's like a cool messy bun, but I feel like for the effort I've gone for it, probably not worth it. You know, I am gonna try and take a cool Instagram picture, um, but realistically in um, real life, you probably won't see me with this hairstyle again. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, I'm pretty sure that all of you are gonna say, Daisy, go and wash your hair now and never do that again. <laughs> it does look cool on some people. I am just not one of those people, but thank you so much for watching. I really would recommend the tool though, if you do want corkscrew curls, or if you just want any kind of curl, to be honest, it's a really good tong. I love this one, as I said. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!